Hello everyone, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome you to another War Thunder video concerning the Strategist event. Now, in today's video we once again are quite packed and it's a lot of important information. As you've probably seen in the thumbnail, we are going to discuss the most efficient way to grind and the most efficient way on the map to give you the maximum amount of things you can get. Now. We're also going to have a look at uh, some frequently asked questions, which is on the comment section on Reddit, a quick recap of the time period, because that is important, and what happens if you would right now just buy yourself everything you need to get the Merkava or uh, one of the other promotional thing imagings. Now, frequently asked question, am I softlocked, stuck? It says I need an order. That's what you sometimes see, and it happened to me as well. No, you are not stuck. You just have to press on it when you are at this firing position and then you will get the option what you need to use. Either you're using one of those orders you can get from a command post or you just use those resources right here or the troops you need or if you were able to sabotage the reconnaissance tower, well, then you need one less of those troops. So no, you are not softlocked. You can still keep on going. I don't have any saboteurs anymore. Am I screwed? Nope, there are only three saboteurs on the map. I can quickly show you um, them to you. This is now the finished map. This is why the video just comes now, because today I was able to finish this map up. We have one on C2, we have one on E5, and the last one is on B6, and that's all. Those are all the saboteurs you will get during this event. Now, I have X amounts of intelligence documents, can I make it? Now, here you, I'm just taking the picture I saw on Reddit. By the way, next time, link my resource, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. St still kind of cool that it blew up. Honestly, it's amazing. Look, that's me. Um, point is, if you want to have a Merc or B1, and from my calculations, it is still roughly correct that the documents can be or roughly are the deciding p factor on if you can make it or not, or plus minus 30 minutes, depending on how you are going through this tree. Point is, you need 240 documents minimum to get the Merc or the B1. Meaning, so for example, if you're right now having like already eight, um, 100 documents, um, the event is now four, three days old, you can say, oh yeah, right, it goes until the 5th of October, meaning you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have seven more days and I need to make um, 140 documents, sev um, 140 divided by 7, and you know how many documents you need per day to get at least the Merkava. But that's you can do yourself. I It's such a question which is so um, personalized, I can't really give you a unique answer. Yeah, another question was, I got an offensive plan, why can't I attack? Again, if you want to attack the main building, you need to clear every single person up here. Again, this means everything you have to destroy up here, except for the buildings with this little icon here. The icon means, again, this means you only need to destroy three of those. And those you can only destroy with the saboteurs we just discussed a minute ago. And you can see, as soon as I finished this one right here, I was able to attack. And this is why you can see right here that I am already de attacking the main defense line. Now, Another question was, is it worth it? Here I have to go on um, on the things Yacht and they told me he is a CC for streaming and he is also a community, um, not a community manager, but he is a forum manager. So he's doing, or forum moderator, he's doing stuff in there. He thinks the Merkwa Mark 3D is a great addition to the American Israeli lineup and it's a lot of fun to play. Hey, you have a 625 millimeter penetration APF SDS if you fully have it um, spaded. The B1, he says it's okay, but it's not for co new players though. The Sonderkraftfahrzeug, it's not really that good. It's a worse Panzer free, And he thinks that the Lübeck is actually a great addition to the Köln Frigate, if you have that in this BR. It has anti-sub missiles, which also work against ships. Now, let's go to the main portion of this video. Everything about making your way or making your grind the best around. Now, why do we have a quick recap of the times? From the 24th of September until the 5th of October, 12 o'clock GMT or 14 o'clock MEZ, then and just then you are able to gather the resources and the documents or the intelligence data to go through the map. Only in this time frame, 40 crates per day, 40 crates or 40 documents per day. 
for a total of maximum 400 crates and a maximum of 320 documents. That is important. From this point on, or from the 24th of September until the 12th of October, you have time to assemble units from the components, attack them on the map, collect reinforcements, and try them in on the marketplace. Until the 12th of October, so seven days after they finished giving you out the resources, you still have seven days to do everything. And after that, you still have time to, um, until the 12th of October, they will um, stop, se or on the 12th of October, they will stop uh, selling those documents, those um, um, figurines and stuff like this. And on the 19th of October, the classified documents, aka the things you need to trade in the vehicles, will also vanish from the market. So be sure to exchange your vehicle before that. So, what do we learn? You got seven days to build everything. For one lane, you need around 45 minutes, pure building time, because there are nine different things and nine times five, ta-da. The lane can be attacked simultaneously, meaning you don't get any more time. However, don't forget that building the units and looking up what you need needs some time too, and I guess it's like 20 minutes. So you might need around one and a half hours max to build your way through. Don't forget the main defense line needs 12 hours without boosters, and this means for a Merc, you need 1.5 days or two days just for this building. So don't forget that. You need to keep that in mind. But you can obviously buy or build boosters, which can make this time go down all the way to one hour maximum. So, from the 25th of September till the 5th of October, only play, my ladies and gentlemen. Only play the game. Do not visit the strategist map, do not open the crates, do nothing with this garbage. Otherwise you are, otherwise you are wasting your valuable time, or your play time, where you can gather resources. Heck, the first, just same thing I'm doing right now, I'm wasting my time doing videos for you, my, de my dear viewers. But again, in this time period, until the 5th of October, only play to get those crates. Do not visit the strategist map, do not unbox anything, it's wasted time. Because again, from the 5th of October till the 12th of October, a whole week, you can build, build, build. You can sell, you can buy what you need and then, in this time period, you cannot gather any resources anymore except from the black market or gadget market. And don't forget, the 12th of October, 14 o'clock, it's the last possible time. Otherwise, it will be too late and you will lose the progress you were working on. But the point is, the most effective way to grind is to just play right now, forget about unboxing, etc, 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 and just do everything in the following week. Because then you're not wasting time on um, unboxing, which you could use for grinding. But now's the big question. What is the most effective way on this strategist map? Because there are some more and um, some less effective ways. I did try to do a little bit of a calculation, but I, obviously there is human error and there are some things which are a little bit awkward. So for example, I can't really look up like what this motorized infantry company needs. Well, for example, this one needs um, five people, for example. Uh, this one uh, down here, also need uh, five, but sometimes they need less and sometimes they need one more. So please keep in mind there is a margin of error of around four to five troops. But if you say it is 176 troops, and again I did went through all everything with my notepad here, um, this means you need in total 704 resources, one of each, which again is just times four. Meaning if we'll have a look at the average boxes or the Im total amount per box, which I had, and I opened 10 boxes. Again, it's a very little um, data set, but I had 8.4. Meaning, if we add this all up, means we need on average 83.8 .8 boxes to go through the whole thing. Which actually makes my calculation from before a little bit bad. They actually makes it, makes it slightly longer, so you need to make an additional 30 minutes of playtime instead of the 4.4 hours. But, with the optimal route, you need 12 less troops, which are 48 less resources. You get 20 additional resources from the warehouse. This comes down all the way to 636 resources, which means you just need 75.7 boxes on average per map. Now that's a quite of an achievement. Why exactly? Because let's be honest, you need 80 minutes less of grind time. 
Now that's very good, right? Well, how does it work? It's all about the sabotage groups, because the sabotage groups are your friends in this endeavor. There are three different buildings, you, you, building types you can attack. The observation post, which makes some stuff go quicker and other stuff need one less troop. The command post, which gives you an order to remove, meaning you can remove in a vicinity around them anything you don't like, just once though. And the warehouse giving you 20 pieces of material. Observation posts, they're useless, forget about them. Now, let's look at the warehouse first. It gives 20 resources which are random. That sounds great, right? But with the command post, it gives you a free kill on one of those spaces. And those spaces can have to up to six troops, which mean there are 24 resources. So not only do you get more resources, they're also not random, which is even better. Meaning the command post is your way to go. There are two command posts on the map and two warehouses are so always focus on the command posts. Please, they are the most important one. This is the C4 command post. And here again, very important, do not get this, do not get this. Get either the pillbox, the tank crew or the minefield because all those three need six troops, okay? If you once again go into the map, this is command post C4, right dab in the middle. Get either this pillbox right here, this one or this one, because those are reconnaissance companies. They are useless. As you can see, they just need free troops, so you would lose a lot of resources. And the same goes with this reconnaissance. Forget one of these, which you like the most to get. Then the A2 command post is all the way on the left si hand side. And once again, there is one gun. There is this one right here, which is garbage, and there is a tank company and the gun and the tank company both, they need six troops. And motorized infantry, they are, don't really, you don't really care about, uh, well, I, I'm not sure if they also want to use six or not, so it might be a little bit wrong here, but take the one which needs six or even seven troops. As far as I know, they all need six, okay? That's the most important thing. And lastly, get whatever little warehouse you want. Again, you have three saboteurs, but get the command post. The command post gives you the most. So we now can start to theory craft. In theory, it's possible to go through the map five times because you can get 400 boxes with an average of 8.4 uh, materials, which gives us 3,360 materials. Point is, in those boxes, you sometimes also get one additional person, which would also equivalent to four materials as well. And with the least amount of resources, well, uh, divided by the materials you can maximum get, you can get 5.28 times through the map. So meaning the limiting factors are again the offensive papers or the intelligence right here. Yeah, that is basically um, everything about the most effective way. I also want to point out, because I think some people don't know it, when you, for example, have a surplus of B component and you desperately need the die, you can build the die out of part A's, part B's or catalysts. It just needs two of the other resources. So you can also jiggle around what you really need. But again, you are losing resources if you're doing that. So wait till the end of the event when you have done all your boxes open. You opened all your boxes and try to build through yourself everything. Again, it's average. We're saying that all the materials are on average the same and which is sadly not the case. In my average, you saw it before, um, just quickly putting it over here. You can see the part A and die in my case were the least amount, where part B and catalyst were the most amount. And you can see that this is actually still roughly the case, even though I already did some finger machines of going left and right. So if you want to get the things right now, should you just buy them on the back market or the gadget markets? Well, one troop on average right now is around 15, uh, 0.155 GGNs. You need 176 troops. We already established that, meaning you need around 27.28 Gaijin dollars for that. And at the point of the 25th, 27th of September, an offensive plan was 15 GGNs. So yeah, we calculate all those things together. At the moment, 126 GGNs for a Merkava or a B1, 84 for the Lübeck, or 42 for the Sonnekraft Fahrzeug. Yeah, point of this is obviously don't buy the Sonnekraft Fahrzeug with just the troops. 
that's not point in it. It will, it will be much cheaper in the black market back then. The Merkel will most likely also go down with the price. It will be probably around 70 as well. So there's no point either. The point is, it's just nice to know that you can still get some stuff out of it right now. And if you just need some troops, it's a lot cheaper to maybe buy them. You'll probably look at around $20 you have to get. It's hard to say though. But another good thing is math is fun, isn't it? Just doing a little bit of calculation, that is fun. And with that, let's move on to the conclusion. I hope that this video was able to give you a little edge above everybody, or rather, not everybody, excuse me, to give you an edge above Gaijin's very weird game, which they want to play with you. Still, the point is most likely the uh, decisive factor or the factor which limits your outcome will be the intelligence data, which you can see right here. Those one right here, we already calculated that one. They were the factor which held you back. I had a person which, yes, they were the ones which hold them back. They were already finished with this part right here, with the whole map. And myself, I was actually first finished with the whole map and... Um, no, I was first finished with the intelligence data and wasn't finished with the first map. But then again, my first playthrough of this whole map, I was retarded. I did stupid stuff and I used my saboteurs at a very, very bad way. Plus, I obviously also you or did some finger magings up here. I did um, do assembled other things, which also kind of destroys materials you could desperately need. Point is, though... I do still think it is uh, doable for some people. Not everybody, obviously, but you should be able to get a Lübeck minimum. And again, don't fret, you can still sell your stuff at the end. And the key takeaways, and, and I'm sorry for saying it again, so you just don't forget, the key takeaways are right now, until the 5th of October, ignore your boxes, ignore the strategist map. Just focus on playing the game and grinding a little bit out and see if you don't have any boxes anymore for the day, well, then you can start doing stuff on the map. But right now, just focus on playing and not doing the strategies map. You have a seven days, seven freaking days with a weekend in between, which you can do stuff. And for maybe doing one map, you might need around one and a half hour. Yes, it is repetitive. Maybe it will be boring for you. But, and again, this is a big, 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 but it's much more effective that way. Effectiveness is sometimes boring. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget to use your free saboteurs, two on the command posts and one on a warehouse, doesn't matter which one, and then you are golden and need the least amount of resources. So, do you have any feedback for this little Swiss person? If so, write it down in the comment section below. If you have any more questions, write them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. I guess right now, after going through everything, uh, making a quite nice list of seeing how many resources you actually even need. If I wasn't able to, you know, give you the reason to subscribe, then I guess it's never meant to be. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. It took a little bit of a while. Sorry for that one. But math and correct data needs its time. And again, I do want to go through this once to see if there is anything I learned from it, which I did. And now learn from my mistakes, my ladies and gentlemen, learn from my mistakes, take the most effective way of grinding and take the most effective way of going through the map to get the maximum reward for you and give maybe a little, little middle finger to Gaijin's little very weird and very, 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 I can't stress this enough, complicated game. Like, honestly, it could have made it much more easier. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people just got um, scared away from how this um, game is going, even though it is actually not that hard to do. It's just very convoluted, explained as well. I hope I was able to do it better. If so, let me in the comment section below. My name is Raging Raptor. Have a great time. Have a great day. Have a great start into the week. Good luck. Best of luck. Try and I hope you get tons of resources out of those boxes. My name is Raging Raptor. Cheers and I'll talk to you next time.